Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. Thanks for coming to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about a stock pick that I do own and I'm excited about. It's called Greenland Holdings. Just tell you a little bit about it real quick. It says Greenland Holdings Inc. distributes and supplies vaporization products and accessories for the vape shops and dispensaries. The firm offerings, packaging, rolling, papers, grinders, glass production, smoking accessories. The company was founded by Aaron Lacasio and Adam Schofield in 05 and is headquartered in Boca Raton, Florida. GNLN Holdings Inc. Class A Common Stock. Uh, the market cap's 21.9 million. Average volume's only at 8.72 million. 52 week high of 375. That's what I'm excited about, friends. 375 at 52 week high. Current price is 18.78 cents. Um, 0.1878 cents. So, you know, it's less than 20 cents right now. They have 256 employees. So they're in the cannabis business and the cannabis, cannabis business is booming and it's growing. It's in the early stages. Um, it's very much legalized in Canada and soon it will be fully legal in the United States. They just recently brought a bill to the floor of the house. They're trying to pass it and make it legal in the United States, but already several states have it legalized with a prescription and all that. So. This has a six analyst buy rating. You very rarely see six professional analysts mark a stock as a buy, but it has a six out of six buy rating. So that should ease your fears on this stock and get you into it. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is my personal opinion for entertainment purposes only. But having said that, uh, there are six professional analysts that do recommend it as a buy, which I'm not one of those analysts. So six out of six buy rating. Earnings report was negative. That's common in a lot of companies right now. Uh, they were about negative 18 cents Q1. We're looking forward to Q2 on 815. See what happens there. But we do know that cannabis is really doing much better lately. Um, a lot more stores are up and running. Business is getting back to normal. So you, you wanna look at this stock and if you wanna make some money on it, you're gonna ask yourself, how much money can I make? So we're a little under 18 cents right now. And you wanna take a look over the past week. We were at 22 cents on July 20th. So you can make uh, four cents per share so you, you can make 20% easily if you get back to where we were just a week ago, but um, you, can, you can even do better than that, really, honestly. Um, it was up near 27 cents not that long ago. Uh, take a look here. Yeah, June 23rd, we were right up there near 27 cents. So you figure, you know, just to make the numbers easy, if we were at 20 cents right now, 10% would be two, two cents. Um, so you figure a two, four, six cent gain would get you a 30% gain on six cents. That puts you at 24 cents. We were higher than that. We were up near 27 cents. You can make 40%, 40% fairly safely on this stock. 40% if we get back to where we were on June 20th. So I'm very excited about this stock. Um, I do own it and I plan to probably buy more on Monday. If it goes deeper in the red on Monday, I will definitely probably, it depends how, how deep, more deep red it goes. If it goes 5% down, I'll add 50% more if it goes 10% down, I'll add a, I'll double my position. So I'm excited about it. I think you should be too. It's just my own personal opinion. Do your own research, G-N-L-N. And um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, I mean, it's a perfect time to get in. If it was up and it had been running up the last several days, 
you know it would be pulling back, but it's been down the last couple days. So it's ready to go green as soon as the market goes green. So will the market be green on Monday? I'm not sure. We might have one more red day. But if, if, if it is a red day on Mon Monday, that's great because then you can get in. You just time it out, see how far is it going to go down, you know, and buy in on Monday. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, it's going to go green. So then you're going to be asking yourself, when do I sell? Do I sell the first green day towards the end of the day or the second or the third green day? I mean, just pick, pick your number. Do you want to sell at 25 cents, 26 cents, 27? We know it was at, up, up in that range. It could, pass, it could pass that. So we're looking at small numbers. Now, if you want to make short-term gain, 40%, that's great money and you can do it. So I hope you're excited about this, but you can actually do a whole lot better with GNLN. And with a six out of six buy analyst rating, you can hold this long-term. Yes, it's under the dollar per share, which makes it a penny stock, a little bit more risky. Having said that, it's not going out of business. If they have to do a reverse split, they will. But they don't have to worry about that right now. Let's take a look. 52 week high of 375. How much money can you make if you got in at 18 cents and it went back to 375? If you bought a nice large bag of this stock. I think you can make some really great money. Let's go a little further back. Let's go a little further back yet. Wow, 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 wow. April 18, 2019, IPO'd at $29 a share. And we all know what happened around the April 2019. <laughs> we had the pandemic that really shut down businesses. So it shows you the potential of this business and what investors believed it could do. It, it IPO'd at $29, friends, $29. Uh, so yeah, it did go down quite a bit and plummeted, but it's a good company. Do your own research, take a look into their earnings reports, take a look into their revenue, take a look into their debt, all of the things that you personally like to look into and, and decide what you wanna do. But wow. Imagine if it got back to its IPO price and you had a large bag at 18 cents a share. And you know we're gonna get back to those numbers. The bull market is near. We're still towards the end of the bull, the bear market right now, but the bull market is near, so stocks will be going up. Most stocks are on sale, 80% off, 90% off. So you gotta ask yourself, do I wanna buy a stock where I can 2X, 3X, 4X? Or do I wanna 10X? 20x, 30x, 50x, 100x. These are the plays that I'm looking for. And if you like that, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notifications button. Because when I do a video, you can take a look and see what I'm buying and why I'm buying it. And I look for gems. I look for hidden gems. I don't look for a 2x typically or a 3x stock. I don't look for a dividend stock. So you can put your money in there and 10 years later, you're made a thousand dollars on dividends. To me, it's just a waste of time. Unless you're putting a million dollars in there and you wanna have a safety net, yes, I understand that. But for most of us, we wanna make money today, we wanna to make money this week, we wanna make money this month. So you wanna be looking for the types of plays that I'm looking for. Thanks so much, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.